Hello and hello and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial and yesterday we have got a nice treat for you today we have got the warden and I do apologize how long the video has taken and um, I didn't anticipate it being that long but it's just such a mammoth build so much detail going on there so I did try and keep it as short and sweet as I possibly could so apologies on that behalf and I just want to say as well um, this I built this warden way before um, the wardens actually released into Minecraft itself so I just want to say the maybe slight um, variations in the detail and possibly the colour um, when the release comes out. Um, I've, I've obviously had to just go off any images and um, footage that Mojang have released, alright? So I just, just bear that in mind before you start criticising that um, it might not be 100% exact to the mob itself. But anyway, um, make sure you uh, also like and subscribe the video because it is really much appreciated. And I think it's about time we actually get onto the build, shall we? So let's get to it. Okay, so let's get on to the colours then, shall we? So we've got we've got uh, mushroom stem, we've got smooth quartz block, light blue wool, light blue concrete, cyan concrete, cyan wool, stripped warped wood, cyan terracotta, grey concrete, black wool and black concrete and you might have just noticed then that I didn't actually tell you the exact quantities of each unfortunately this build was that big um, it was just one of those things that I overlooked and I didn't actually um, count the specific blocks but all I would say is if you are building this in survival just make sure you get a lot of the black um, concrete mainly because that's the majority of the build and get a fair few stacks of all the rest and even if you do have any leftovers it's fine isn't it because in survival you're going to use these blocks in other builds and stuff anyway so just grab a load of it so let's move on to the actual construction of this baby okay we're going to start with the right hand side leg first and just to let you know these legs are six across by 12 high in total okay so what we're going to do is start with a cyan terracotta i'm going to place one followed by a cyan concrete two more cyan terracotta cyan concrete and cyan terracotta on top of this, we're going to do mushroom stem. We're going to place one, two, three, four. And then in the gaps here, we're going to go with black wool. We're going to go one, two, three. And then do the same here. One, two, three. Next, you want to get your cyan wool. Place one there. Two, three, four, five, and six. Switch to our cyan concrete. And again, we're going to go one, two, three, four, like so. Back to our cyan terracotta again. We're going to place one on top of here, one, two, and then one on there. And then all you want to do now is get a bit more black wool. And we're going to go one, two on either side, one, two, like that. And then switch to our grey concrete this time. We go one, two, three. Put a black concrete next to that. And then just up above, we're going to put another grey concrete. And then to the left, we're going to go back to black, black concrete, one, two, and then put another great concrete on top and then all I want you to do on top of that is put another black concrete and that is going to be where we're going to fill everything up until this point so all this now can be filled in with black concrete to the top just like so and you should have some looking a little bit like that now you've done that leg we're going to go to the bottom left hand side of it and we're going to count out one two three four five six block gap and on the seventh block i'm wanting to place a block and we're actually going to be building the next part of the leg which is going to go at six across by 12 high and what we're going to do is our lovely little pause section as always so let's get to it so if you're new around here, all you need to do now is just pause the video and just copy that pattern down. Now obviously we've already built one leg, so you know exactly what blocks we're using for this side of the leg. Um, and, and all this is, it's going to save a little bit of time because I, I'm a bit conscious that this video is going to take over an hour long if we build every single little bit. But anyway, this is really simple for you to copy down. And once you're done, you should have two legs looking like that with the top three blocks that are just slightly differently placed apart from that they are identical to each other okay so now you've done those first two the back two are really simple so we're going to do the back panels so all we're going to do is come around to the side you can do it on either side doesn't matter you're going to go count from here so that's one two three four five six so you can place a cyan terracotta there so in essence it should be one two three four block gap in between these two and all we're going to do now and you can do this exactly the same on here so one two three four five 
gap there. So these are gonna be exactly the same. So all you're gonna do now is copy that panel and that panel here and here. So you're gonna do the same this side. So all we're gonna do now is um, I'll, I'll speed it up the video obviously and I'll let you carry on doing that. I'm sure you're capable of doing it. And all we're gonna do is look across here and count and follow the exact same pattern, all right? It's all you're doing, really simple. And like I said, you're gonna do that here and on that side. So you should have four identical panels. From the front left here, we're gonna to go to the side here and we're gonna complete this side. So what we can do is cyan terracotta there, followed by a cyan concrete, and then we're gonna go terracotta, terracotta in there. Get our stem, we're gonna place one here and one there, like that. Using our cyan concrete, we're gonna go one, two, like that. With our um, cyan terracotta, you can also go one, two, and then in the center here, we're gonna go with black wool, followed by one, two, like so. And then all you're gonna do now is essentially this, you can fill all the way to the top with black concrete. Okay, so it should meet the top of the build, like that, and you can fill in all this gap as well. And again, you might have already guessed what we're gonna do already, but if you haven't, I'm gonna tell you. We're gonna essentially copy that same panel we've just done there, again, round the other side. So that's why we do this side first, it's important. And all we're gonna do now is swing on round to the inside of the leg and look across and copy the exact same pattern. So there we go, copy that there, that there, we'll get cyan concrete in there, and then so on and so forth, and do that all the way to the top. And once you've done this bottom section, actually the top of it is all just pretty much black concrete. And there we go, that's a one leg complete, looking great. And all we're gonna do now is do the same on the inside of the next leg. So very simple and straightforward. All you're gonna do is look across, and we're gonna do again the same what we're gonna do look across, build it all the way up to the top, and then we're also gonna do on this side as well and do the same there. You should now have um, all four sides done, and again, we're just replicating the same pattern on the outside and the inside of the legs, so there we go. Looking good if you've got to this point. I know it's a mammoth task this is, so I did warn you at the start of the video, so we've only done the legs so far, but the next is gonna be a bit more tricky, so let's get down to it, shall we? We're gonna work on the actual torso. But I've been dreading a little bit because it's quite a big section we're going to be completing here, alright? So just bear with me. We're going to go from the left hand side here, we're going to place one block there, we're going to go one, two. Okay, from this one here we're going to go one, two, three, four. Okay, and all I want you to do now is you can pull that all the way across to the opposite side of the leg. Okay, and this should be in line with both legs as well, either side. Okay, it shouldn't be overhanging. And then bring that across as well. So that's two rows of black concrete so far. And then on this outer row here, you can actually fill this in four blocks high in total. I can't see what's going on here. One, two, three, four. And again, I just want you to fill all that in with a black concrete, okay? So that's the easy bit. The, the next section is not what I'm looking forward to, right? So you should have something looking like that so far. Okay, to the left-hand side of the build now, we're gonna go one, two black concrete, and then one, two, three, four black wool. Do the exact same on the opposite side. So one, two black concrete, one, two, three, four black wool. And all the center then can be filled in with black concrete. With our black wool in our hand still, we can then go um, miss a block, place one like that. And then followed by two cyan terracotta, and then two cyan terracotta on top as well. Cyan concrete is gonna go one, two, three, four in the center. And then we can actually use our mushroom stem on, on the side here. We're gonna go one, two, three, followed by three quarts as well. So that's gonna go one, two, three, like that. And we're gonna do the exact same on the opposite side as well, okay? So we're gonna go across here, gonna go there. Then we're gonna go two cyan terracotta, two cyan terracotta on top. And then we're gonna cyan concrete in the center there. And then we're gonna go back with our mushroom stem, go one, two, three, back with our quartz, one, two, three, and you should have something looking like that so far. Okay, so with our black wall, we're just gonna do a few little sections in here. So we're gonna use a black wall on the inside of the, of the left-hand side, just place one there. We're gonna place one just here, which is diagonal to this block here. Okay, and then we're actually gonna go place one there as well. And then on top of that, we're actually gonna place a light blue concrete, like so. 
Okay, so you should have something looking like that. And the reason why I did that, I'm trying to do section, section at a time just so it makes it easier. Switch to your black concrete and then all the gaps in between now, we're literally gonna fit in with black concrete. So the side here, we can fill in with black and then everything in between as well can also be filled in with black as well, all right? So once you've done that, we will move on to the little next section. I say little next section, it's not a little, it's all the same. Okay, so you should have some looking like that. The next section, what we're gonna do is with our black concrete still in our hand, we're actually gonna use that, go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then on the seventh block, we're gonna go with a light blue, followed by two um, black wool, I'm forgetting what they are, a black concrete, then we're gonna go with a light blue again, and then back to black concrete, which is there, back to black wool, and then again, black concrete to finish it off like so. Moving on to the next section now, we're gonna go with our cyan terracotta again. We're gonna go one, two cyan terracotta. We're gonna go two with the um, cyan concrete as well. And then we're gonna go two of our stem, which is there. And then we're gonna go with our quartz block, one, two, three, four on top of that. Switching back to our light blue again, we're going to go light blue concrete there and also there, but then a light blue wall on top of that and that one. And then in there can go black concrete. So you should have something looking like that. Next to this one, we're going to go black concrete again. And then what we're going to do is a light blue concrete followed by a light blue wall, um, light blue wall, a black, black wall. And then in the center here, we're gonna go light blue concrete, uh, lower light blue wall, <laughs> light blue concrete, light blue concrete. So you should have like a little cross there. And then we're gonna go switch back to our black concrete again. And then we're basically gonna replicate what we've already done the other side. So we're gonna use quartz block one, two, three, four. And then a row of stem, like so. A row of cyan, like that and then a row of cyan terracotta as well, just to finish that off. And then these blocks here in the center can just be a black concrete like that. So you should have something looking like that. Moving on to the next section now, we're gonna do it slightly different. We're, we're gonna start in the center here. So we're gonna use our light blue wall this time, and we're actually gonna do a cross. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and then one to the side, and then one to this side as well, okay? And then we're gonna go with our black wall. Next to that here, we're gonna go one, two, like that. Light blue concrete next to that is gonna go there and there, followed by a light blue wall on top and on top again. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is just get our black uh, light, uh, black wall. I keep saying light black wall. It's not, you can't get light black wall. <laughs> it's black wall. <laughs> and then we're gonna place two like that as well, right? Looks a bit odd at the minute, I know. Switch to our black concrete and everything up to this level we can actually fill with black. Just ignore that top section for a minute. That's all gonna fill, we're gonna get onto that in a second. Fill this all in, black all the way across, all the way across, and you should have some looking like that. Moving on to the next section now, we're gonna go on the top here, top left-hand side again, and we're gonna repeat the same sort of pattern we got here. So we're gonna go two with the cyan terracotta, we're gonna go two with the cyan concrete, then we're gonna go two with the stem, which is there, and then we're gonna go four with the um, quartz blocks, like that. Switch to our black wall, and then we're gonna go one there, we're gonna go one, two there, like that. Switch to our black concrete now, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one, two, three, and then we can actually fill these two in with black concrete as well, so you should have something looking like that. Now what I want you to do is switch to your light blue wall, place one like so, and then light blue concrete, we're gonna go one, two, and then one to the side, sorry about that, I'm getting a bit jerky with that, and then in this center here, well in this block is a black concrete, God, I can't spit my words out, <laughs> right, black wall is gonna go next to it, one, two, like that, and then we're gonna repeat the same pattern again, okay, so we're gonna go with our quartz blocks first, which is four, two with the mushroom stem, and then we're gonna go two with the cyan concrete, and then two with the cyan terracotta as well. Okay, so you should have something looking like that. Okay, once you've done that, we're gonna get our black concrete this time, and we're actually gonna do like a layer, pretty much. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then on this one here, we're gonna place a black wall, followed by another two black concrete, followed by a black wall, followed by a light blue concrete, 
And then we're going to just then finish it off with black concrete all the way to the end, like so. Okay, the next section, what we're going to do is on the left hand side again, we're going to come up by two black concrete again. We're going to switch to our cyan terracotta, do two, and then yeah, you've probably already guessed it. We're going to go four with the cyan concrete, and then we're going to go with our mushroom stem, we're going to go one, two, three. Back of our quartz block, we're going to go one, two, three. Then we're going to use our black concrete, we're going to go one, two, three. And then we're actually going to do like a, a square, one, two, three, four. So we're like missing a little gap here. And in there you can actually put a, um, sorry, a light blue, I have to think then, a light blue concrete in there. And then on this side, again, we're going to literally replicate what we've done on the opposite side. So we're going to do our um, quartz block, one, two, three, followed by our stem, one, two, three. Oh, miss that one, three followed by our cyan concrete, which is one, two, three, four, followed by our terracotta, and then followed by our black concrete on the end there. Looking good, look at that, it's looking cool so far. Right, this next section, all we're gonna do is fill in a few bits and pieces. So we're gonna go with a, a black wool, followed by our two terracotta on top, and then we're gonna switch back to our black wool and go one, two, three, and then underneath here, going one, two, three. And then we're going to use a terracotta there as well. And we're going to do the same on this side. So we're going to go terracotta. And then we're going to go back to our black wall. One, two, three. And then we're going to come up by one. And then come across by one, two. Using our terracotta again. We're going to go in there and there. And a black wall next to it. And all I want you to do now is get your black concrete. And we're going to fill in up to this line and one block above. So all this section we just did, you can bring that black all the way across, like so, and then fill that in. So there you go. So black all the way across the top of what we've just done. And then you can fill in all these gaps here with black concrete. Look at that. And that, my friends, is the actual chess piece done. So congratulations if you've got that far. That was a bit of a mammoth task, I must admit. And um, we've still got more to go. Okay, so we're going to get onto the arms now, and this may get a little bit confusing, so I'll go as slow as I can. So these arms are 28 blocks tall, so we're going to start off, so from the left-hand side of the leg here, you can see we've got our two black wall. We're going to start from the top of this wall here, so from the side here, we can place a block and come out by one. So it should be overhanging by one like that, okay? So that's going to be the start point. So we're going to come across from there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks across. And that's how wide the arms are going to be. Right, so I'm going to try try and go as slow as I can here because it might get a bit confusing. So we're going to go a wall, and then we're going to skip a block, and we're going to go with a cyan concrete. And then we're going to go wall, wall, cyan concrete, wall, cyan concrete. On top of this, we're going to go cyan terracotta, one, two, and three. And then you can also pop one on top of there as well. Back to this cyan concrete again. We're going to go one there and one there. And this little gap here can be a cyan wall. And then I just want you to fill this up with a black concrete from there all the way to the top level of this, like that. Oh, not like that, like that. Boom. Okay, so that's our first little section done. Okay, now what we're going to do is going to get our black concrete going one, two, three, <laughs> three, oh, three, four. And we're going to fill that in all the way up to that point with a black concrete. And we'll do that quickly now. So the arm's just getting longer and longer as we speak. So there we go. That's filled in. Now what we're going to do is a black concrete here, followed by a cyan terracotta. And then what I want to do is fill in black concrete, one, two, three, four. And then here's going to be a cyan um, uh, la, 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 what's it called, cyan terracotta, and then followed by a black concrete. Right, this bit might get a little bit confusing, so I'll go slow again, and we're going to focus on the black afterwards, so we're going to do all the colour bit first, right? So with our cyan terracotta, we're going to actually come up from this corner, go one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do like one, two next to that as well. And then from here, we're going to go one, two, okay? In this little block section here, we're actually going to go a cyan concrete, and then we're going to go back to our cyan terracotta and place one there and one there like that. And then on top of this, still in that same corner there, we're going to go with a cyan wall, and we're actually going to go put some stripped warp in there as well. 
And then we're going to go back to our Cyan Concrete, go one, two, three. Back to our Cyan Terracotta again. From this block here, we're going to go one, oh, not that one there, because that would be weird. One, two, and then come up down by one, cross by one, and then down by one as well. And we can actually finish this off with a cyan concrete just in there as well. And then everything else up to that point you can fill in with black concrete. So we can just cap that off there. And all this gap you can fill in with black concrete. There we go, we should have something looking like that. And that's the first part of the arm done so far. Onto the next section, what we can use is our mushroom stem. We're gonna start from the left hand side. We're gonna go one, two, three. And then we're actually gonna keep going up this time. We're gonna go with the quartz and we're gonna go one, two, three with that. Back to the stem, we're gonna go one, two, three. Back to our quartz with one. And then we're just gonna to top that off with a lovely bit of cyan wool. And then followed by two concrete on top. And that should now come one block above the actual build height of the mob. On the right hand side now, we're gonna, you can see these two blocks here, the two black blocks. They again can come all the way back up to the top. And again, they're one block above the, um, the torso there, do the same on that side. Looking good, so you should have something looking like that. Okay, back to our cyan wall now. So the bottom left hand side, we're gonna go one, two, and three like that. We're gonna put a stripped warp in here. Next to that, we're gonna do another cyan wall. And we can actually fill this little gap in now with cyan concrete all the way up to the top like so. Now what we're gonna do, while we got our cyan concrete in our hand, we're actually gonna place a one here as well, and one just like so. Using our stem again, we're gonna place one block there, we're gonna come up by one, two there. And we're gonna now place a, um, a warped on top of this block here, like so, and a stem on top of that one. Next to this, we're gonna go with our wool, and we're gonna go um, one, two, three, and we can actually place one here as well. Back to our warped, we're gonna place a block warped there and a warped there, followed by a stem next to that one. So you should have something looking a little bit like this. What you can do now is with your quartz on the top of this stem here, we can go up by one, two, and everything up until this block, you can actually fill in with quartz. So everything below, we're gonna fill in with quartz for the time being, and we're gonna just fill in the top section in a second. Right, so you should have something looking like that. We've got a few more patterns to go and then we're all done on this section. So what I want you to do now is with our um, quartz in our hand, we're gonna go one, two, and then we're gonna use our stem just here. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. And then on top of this, we're gonna actually go with our, what's it called, cyan wall. We're gonna go one, two like that, followed by a quartz next to it. Go back to our cyan wall again. Next to this stem, we're gonna go one there, and we're also gonna place one there. And then this can be filled in with quartz. And that is it. All we need to do now is get our black concrete, fill it up to the top, the same height as obviously we've already done, across the top, and then up there, and boom! <laughs> Finally. Jesus, that took some going, didn't it? That's one arm complete, so congratulations. One arm, wow. Took ages. Okay, now we've done the left-hand side arm, we're gonna do the right-hand side arm, but we're actually gonna do our lovely little pause section again on this side. So what we're gonna do is come across, I'm gonna show you where to build from. So you wanna go to this wall here, and I want you to come out by one and across by one, like so, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So remember, this arm is gonna be eight wide and it's gonna be 28 blocks tall. So what I need you to do now is get ready and pause that video and copy these first 14 blocks down. So obviously I've shown you where you need to build from. So this is your first 14 blocks you're gonna build. And then on top of that, we're now gonna do the next 14 blocks. And once you've done this, we've now got a complete arm. Okay, so once you're done, you should have something looking a little bit like this. Woohoo, he's looking good now, isn't he? He's getting there. Right, on to the next phase. Okay, now we've done the front of the arms. We're going to spin on around and do the back of the arms. So what I want you to do, you can do this from either side. It doesn't matter. Start from this corner block, and I want you to go one. Count this as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that should now be in line with this block here. Um, so it should be overhanging by one. Okay, and all I want you to do now, and you can actually bring that line all the way back to the back here, like so. 
And you can do the same on the opposite side. So from here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring that all the way across to the back of the leg there. Stop just there. And all I want you to do now, now you've got that, is copy exactly what you can see in front of you. So all I want you to do is look at that block there, right there, and then we're gonna go with this cyan, 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 and so on and so forth. Really easy, simple. I don't need you to, t well, I don't need to teach you how to suck eggs, do I? And do that for that side. And you can do the exact same for this side as well. So we're gonna again get the cyan and you go all the way to the top and I'll see you once you've completed that. Okay, so now we've got the um, majority of the body's actually done now. All we need to do is finish off the side of the arms. We need to do the side on both sides. So we're gonna start with the left-hand side. And what we want you to do is come to the bottom left here and we're gonna place a cyan concrete. And then we're gonna go with a wall, go one, two, back with our cyan terracotta and a cyan concrete, followed by a cyan wall. And then on the next row above, we're actually gonna place a terracotta just here, and then one just there as well. And what we want to do now is switch to your black concrete, and you can fill in all these gaps with black, oh, with black one. And then I want you to do the next two rows again, are gonna be black concrete, all the way like that. On this left hand side, I want you to place a cyan concrete there. And then again, I want you to fill it with black concrete all the way to the end. And then the row above that, you can also fill in with black concrete. From the right hand side this time, we're gonna go one, and then we're gonna actually place a cyan concrete, followed by cyan, um, sorry, black concrete all the way across. So, so far you should have something looking like this. Now is use your cyan terracotta, and we're going to um, go from, not this block here, that block there, the middle block. We're going to go one, two, three, four upwards, okay? And then to the left of it, we're going to go one, two, three, okay? And then to the right, we're going to actually follow that across. We're going to go across by one, two, and then we're going to bring that down, one, two, okay? And then from the, this point here as well, we're actually going to go up by one, and then just connect it to the side there as well, like that, okay? And what we need to do now is get your black concrete and fill in the gaps just up to the top of this build that we've done so far, like there. Fill in these gaps here, and fill in the gap here. So you should have something looking like that. I know it's a funky pattern so far, but don't worry, it's gonna be um, looking better in a minute. Cyan concrete <laughs> can go actually in this gap here. One, two, three, and I forgot to mention we need a cyan terracotta in there as well. Now cyan concrete now, I want you to go to the left hand side and go one, two, three, like that, like a backwards L. And then we do the same on this side, go one, two, oh, two, and then get up by two, one, two. So you should have something looking like that. Switch to our cyan ball this time, and I want you to go one here, one on top, and then two here, one, two, and then while it's still in your hand, we're gonna do one on top and then actually go one, two, three there like that. Switch into our warped wood now. What we're gonna do is place one on top of there, one on top of this one, place one here. You can also go one, two, three on top and then just one down there as well. Switch into our mushroom stem on the left-hand side. We're gonna go one, two, three, place one, and then you can actually fill in the gap here all the way to the top of that one with mushroom stem and then go up by one, two from there. One down on this gap here and then come up, one on top of there and one on top of there as well. Okay, all you need to do now is get your smooth quartz block and you're actually gonna fill in um, most of this with quartz. But what we're gonna do just to make things easier, we're gonna leave that for a minute. I'm just gonna come up to the top here and we're gonna count out from here, one, two, three, and we're actually just gonna put a mushroom stem there because it just make it easier in a minute. And then we're gonna actually just um, come up, sorry, go one, two, three, and then across by one, okay? Use your cyan wall just to fill that gap in there. And then on top of here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, all the way across. Okay, the reason why I did that, I know it's a little bit backwards, but now all this gap in the middle here, you can actually fill in with smooth quartz. Um, so if you are doing it in survival, I do apologize because it was a little bit bit backwards for me to do that, but it just makes it easier just trying to explain to you guys what's going on rather than trying to uh, worry about where blocks get in place. So anyway, there we go, there's that. 
all the way up to there. And then this little section here, you can actually fill in with some black concrete. So you should have some looking ba -ba 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 -ba, like that. That's the side of his arm done. Okay, once you've done one side of the arm, the other side is quite simple because all we're going to do now is literally copy it across. So what we've already done there, we're going to copy here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you build up to just above the leg here. And then once you're above the leg, you can clearly see what blocks you need to place. So for instance, um, we can see that, um, so from this block here, you can see there's a black and then you've got your cyan just there. And then you've got black running all the way across. Okay, so you see what I mean? So all we're going to do is copy it across and you, again, you can go with the black and then go with your cyan. And all I'm doing is looking across and just copying what we've previously done. But like I said, I'm going to help you with this bottom section because you can't see because the legs being in the way. So what we're going to do is go with our cyan wall, place one here, followed by a cyan concrete here. And we're going to place one over here as well in that corner, followed by a cyan terracotta. We're going to place one there, one on top of this. And then back of our wall, we're going to go one, two, with a cyan terracotta on there. And then black concrete in there, there, and there, and there. And now we're going to use two rows of black concrete to top that off, one and two. And then we're going to switch back to our cyan concrete and place one in the corner here. Fill that in with black concrete and that just brings us nicely to the section we just started working on. And then again, like I said, just copy it across. You can see that's where the cyan is. And then we're actually going to place a black and then we're going to go with a terracotta one, two, like that. And so on and so forth, right? So I'm just going to leave you to that. Once you've done that, I'll, um, we'll, we'll move on to the next section, I guess. Why not? Moving on to the head now. So this head is meant to be 16 wide, so you should have a block gap either side of the arms. And it's also 17 blocks tall and 10 back, all right? So we're gonna start doing the front of the head first. So what I want you to do is find this corner block, and I want you to come across by one, and then come towards us by one as well. And we're gonna use a black concrete for now. So that's overhanging the front of the body by one block and one block away from the arms. Okay, once you've done that, you can do that, do the exact same on the opposite side, and you can bring, or you can bring this all the way, all the way across to the other side, and just we'll knock out a few there. So that's one block gap. There we go. So that's the first layer done. Next up, we're going to come up to the top here, and we're going to go one, two, three, and on the fourth block, place a black wall. Do the same on the opposite side. Okay, so um, one, two, three, and on the fourth, place a black wall. And then in between all that, you can place black concrete to fit it all in, like that. Okay, now above this black wall, we can go one, and then two, three, so it's like that. And do the same on the opposite side, one, two, three. And then fill everything in um, black all the way across. And I'm trying to do layer by layer because it just makes things a little bit easier. Okay, so you should have something looking like that. Okay, so now we're gonna start from the left-hand side again. On top of this wall that we've already placed, you can place one wall. Place a cyan terracotta here and here, and then in between that, a uh, cyan concrete, followed by some more um, wool, one, two, three, four. Next, a cyan terracotta, and one, two, cyan concrete, followed by another wool, and then you can fill in the ends with black, and also this end with black as well. Okay, next layer up, we can go with our black concrete on this left-hand side again. Followed by a black wool, followed by a cyan terracotta, two more black concrete, and then we're going to go with our cyan wool this time, go one, two, three, back to our terracotta again, another wool, and then followed by a cyan concrete this time, and then we're going to go two black concrete, and then followed by a cyan terracotta, and then, <laughs> and then, and then, and then, a black wool and a black concrete, okay? So we're, we're sort of building up his mouth very, very slowly. Okay, next layer, we're then on top of this, we're actually going to go with a cyan concrete. We could put a black concrete there, actually. Black concrete, cyan concrete, and then in between all this, we're going to do black all the way to the upper, 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 upper end. <laughs> and we're going to do the same, a black concrete on the end. We're going to do a... a <laughs> I can't spit my words out, a cyan concrete there, and then that black can meet the end as well. So you've got the two ends are both exactly the same on that bit, and you can see his mouth is slowly getting there, but surely. Next layer up, 
We're going to go one, two black concrete this time, a cyan terracotta, and then again, we're going to pull that all the way across and do the same on the other side. But we'll, it, it might be easier if we go like this. We'll go one, two, and then with a cyan terracotta, and then everything in between is going to be black. Whoop! Lovely, lovely, lovely. On top of that, we can do the same. We're going to go one, two, and then we're going to do with a cyan concrete this time. And then again, do the same on the opposite side. So we're going to go one, two, cyan concrete. And then in between all that is going to be black. Woo! Look at that. It's looking nice. Next up, we are going to go one, two black. This time we're going to go over black wool. And then a cyan terracotta. Okay. On the other side, we can spin over. We're going to go one. Oh, that's the wrong color. We're going to go with our black. We're going to go one, two, three. And on the fourth one, we're going to place a cyan terracotta. And everything in between is going to be black. There we go. It's connecting up nicely. Okay, next up, we're going to start from left left again. We're going to place a black concrete, followed by a black wool this time, a black concrete again, followed by another black wool, followed by a cyan terracotta. Then we're going to go cyan concrete, going to go one, two, followed by two cyan wool, two cyan concrete, and then back to our cyan terracotta. Two more black concrete again, followed by one black wool, and then another black concrete. Next up on the left hand side yet again we're going to go a black concrete followed by another black wool. Then we're going to go with a black concrete one two this time followed by a black wool. Another cyan terracotta on top. This time we're going to use cyan concrete and go one two three four. A cyan terracotta back to our wool and then we're going to use black all the way to the end. Next up, we are going to do with a black wall this time. First off, we're going to go one, two, and then we're going to go with our black concrete. One, two, three, followed by a black wall, followed by a black concrete, followed by two more black wool, a black concrete, a black wall, and then black concrete. One, two, three, four, with a wall on the end. Okay, still with our wall in our hand, we're going to go one, two, three. And then we're going to go black concrete, back to wool, back to concrete, two wool, back to concrete, two wool, back to concrete, and then the rest is going to be filled in with wool. Okay, we're finally getting to the end of our head here now. So what we're going to do is cyan terracotta this time. We're going to go one, two, three, back to our black wool, one, two, three, cyan terracotta, a black wool two cyan terracotta and then a black wool one two three four five and then with a terracotta on the end like so back up to the top left again we're going to go with our terracotta and then we're going to go cyan this time and then back to our terracotta and you can actually bring that all the way across um, and we're going to do um, a two block off the end there with a cyan and then that can actually meet in with that nicely so it's the same on either side of that row there Next row up is going to be a lot of cyan this time. So it's going to be a cyan, uh, a terracotta, a concrete, um, two terracotta, a concrete, two terracotta, a concrete, a wool, and then the rest is going to be filled in with terracotta until you get to the end. And that last one there is going to be a concrete. And then once we're here, you can go up actually and do a line all the way across the top of the top. And that, ba -ba 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 -ba. finally, God, that took some while, didn't it? Moving on to the side of the head, we're going to do things a little bit different. We're going to start from the top down. So I'm sorry if you're doing this in survival. It's just easier this way. So what we're going to do with this cyan concrete, we're going to start from the top. And we're going to start from this block here. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks. And that should be one block in before the edge of the build. So you can see the edge of the build is one block um, out. Okay, so that's 10 across. What we're going to do now while we're here, we're going to go with a terracotta there. Um, sorry, a concrete, then with a, a cyan terracotta. Two concrete, two terracotta, one concrete, and then two terracotta. Come down a layer, and then we're going to do terracotta all the way across. Once you've done that, underneath this one, we're going to go with a black wool. We're going to go one, two, and then with a terracotta. Back with our wool, one two terracotta, two wool, 
and then with another terracotta. Underneath that, we're going to go with the black wall again. We're going to place it with one. Then we're going to go with black concrete this time. Two black wall, two black concrete, one black wall, and then one black concrete, and then one black wall. So pretty much that is as much detail as we're going to go with. So what I suggest next is we go from the bottom this time, and then we can actually bring black concrete all the way across to one block just before the edge of the build, and that should meet nicely with this block. And we can actually now fill all this in with black concrete. Okay, once you've filled it all in with black concrete, it looks a bit plain at the minute. So what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna actually just um, mark out um, where the ears are gonna go. So I want you to find this row here where it's got two black, um, black wall and two black concrete. I want you to find this black concrete here, come down from there, go one, two blocks, and on the third block, you could either leave them blank or just place any block there for the time being. I'm just going to put that there so I know. And that's where the ears are going to stick out from that point onwards because they sort of like loop out. Okay, so that's where they're going to go. And then what you want to do now is just add a little bit of um, sort of, not detail, but a few sort of to break up this black. So get your cyan terracotta. Um, you can do this any way you want really. But I, I mean, if you want to copy me, come down from the blue block that we've placed, come across and then do it three blocks in from the edge of the build. Place one there, and then I placed a cyan terracotta, come all the way down, and then from the bottom of the build, we can come up by three, one, two, three, I think it's about three there, place it there as well, and then I did another block all the way across here, and then just down here, like there, terracotta, and that was um, one, two, three blocks across, and one from the base, um, just there and that just breaks it up a little bit and don't forget the ear is going to go there as well so that's going to break up that big old black space there but anyway once you've done that one side guess what we're going to do this is really easy you already know copy the exact same thing there on this side as well and now you've done obviously the bottom you can actually see where we're going to go so again we're going to do that one block in oh, one block in and we're going to just copy it all the way across all right so once you've done that I will catch up with you in a minute. Spinning on to the back of the build now, we're just going to finish off the head. So what I want you to do is use your cyan concrete, and you can start from either side for the minute. Fill that in all the way across to the opposite side, and that should meet up nicely. The layer below, from the left-hand side, we're going to place one, and then go with our cyan terracotta, one, concrete, one, and then one, two terracotta, one concrete, one terracotta, two concrete, one, terrac one terracotta, one concrete, one terracotta, and then two more concrete on the end like so. The layer below that, we can actually use a cyan terracotta, and we're gonna bring that all the way across to the opposite side. Switch into our black concrete, uh, oh, sorry, our black wall on the left-hand side again we're starting. We're gonna go one, two, like that, followed by two cyan terracotta, followed by one, two, three more wall, Followed by one terracotta, and then we've got one, two, three, four black wool, and then one, two terracotta. On the left hand side again, we're just going to keep with the, um, well, in fact, black concrete this time, sorry, one, two, followed by two black wool, and then followed by one, two, three black concrete, then one, two, three wool, a black concrete again, another wool, black to your concrete back to your wall and then back to your concrete and while we've got the wall in our hand we're actually just going to place one there as well and then pretty much now all you need to do is again same sort of story as we did earlier um, is just going to fill all this up now with a black concrete so you can go from the edge to the other edge So you should have some looking a little bit like that. And all, we, all we're going to do now is, like I said, we're actually going to add in a little bit of um, colour to this. So we're going to get the cyan terracotta. Um, um, it doesn't have to be exact, exact like I am. So just halfway down, just place a terracotta in like that. Um, and then with your cyan concrete, again, go sort of more central. Place one about there. With this, with this in your hand still, come up a little bit and just come diagonal um, and just place one there as well. 
And then again, switching back to a tarot card so you can place one down this side if you must. And again, you don't have to have these 100% exact. It looks kind of cool them just sort of um, all over the place. Um, so I'll leave that entirely up to you. Okay, last little few things that we need to complete now. So what I want you to do is go to the top and the whole of the top of the head can be completed and filled in with cyan concrete. Okay, so once you fill the top of the head in, you need to fill the arms in as well. So if you come down, um, you can actually get the black concrete and cup, bring a line all the way across and that's the top of your, your arm. And also this little alley gully here, you can actually bring a black line of concrete all the way across there as well oh so it should be one block um down from the arms remember and again all this can be filled in and you need to do this on both sides of the build okay okay so that's both sides of the arms done now the next thing we need to go underneath underneath where the arms are and again you can fill this in from side to side with cyan wool and you can do this on both sides of the arms as well and that will just make sure it's all sealed off nicely okay so that's both arms all sealed up now and the last place we need to seal up is underneath where the legs are so you can come in under the underside and then just go from across the top there from side to side with a black concrete Okay, so we're going to work on the horns now, or the ears, I don't know what they're called, but those two blocks that we marked off earlier on, what we're going to do is do two black concrete, uh, sorry, two black wool, followed by two black concrete, and then what we're going to do is, with our black wool, we're going to place one there, underneath that, well next to that, sorry, a black concrete, on top of that, a black wool, and then next to that, a black concrete, so you should have something looking like that so far. Switch into our cyan wool, we're going to come to this black concrete here and go one, two and then we're going to go one two three come up by one come across by one go up by one and then across by two one two well, well three in total should i say and then a further up by one so you should have something looking like that switch to our stripped wood we're actually going to place one in this gap one in that gap and then underneath this one here we're going to place one just there switch to our cyan concrete this time and we're going to in this gap here, place one there. Then up here, we're gonna go one, two, and then come across by one. And then underneath this, this cyan here, we're gonna place two more of our stripped wood. One, two, like that. Underneath this section here, we can actually, um, sorry, go to the corner, sorry, put a, a stripped wood there, and then one coming down as well. And then go back to our cyan concrete. We can come up now and go one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna go one, two on that side as well. Switch back to our stripped wood, and you wanna do one just adjacent, which is in line with this row here, and then one on top of that as well. Switch back to our wool, place one on top. Back to our cyan concrete, we're gonna go one, two, three, one to the left, one to the right, and one above. Switch back to our stripped wood again. You can place one strip there. I'm gonna go one strip on the edge here as well. And then just to finish it off with a wall just in that little crevice there. And that, my friends, is one of the horns done. Look at that. And all we're gonna do now is literally replicate what we've just done on this side as well. So remember those two blocks that we did, and I'm gonna do this one fairly quickly this time. So we're gonna go two wall. We're gonna go with two concrete. On top of that concrete, we can go a, a wall next to that concrete. On top of that, it can go a wall, and then next to that is a concrete. Switching back to our cyan wall, we're going to go one. Oh, God, the controller's jerking. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we can come up across by one, go up again, and then go one, two, three and then up by one again. So you should have something looking like that. Switch to our stripped again, and we're gonna place one in that little crevice, one there, and then one also there as well. Switch into our, our um, cyan concrete. You can place one just here, and then go one, two, three, and then you can come up now by one, two, three, 
four. And then we can bring this one up as well by one, two at that angle. Okay, so you should have something looking like that. Stripped back to our, stripped back, <laughs> switch back to our stripped. And we're gonna place two just there, one, two. And then while we've got it on the hand, we can actually place two here as well. One, two, like so. And then come up to this level here and you can place one jutting out from the side. And you can also place one just here with a wall on top of it, like so. Switch it back to our concrete and we're gonna go one, two, and then come across by one, two, and then one to that side, and then one up. So you should have something looking like that. Back to our strip again, we're gonna place one on top of here, one jutting out to the side, and then finish it off by a wall just in there. And that, my friends, Ba -ba 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 -ba. Congratulations, you have actually finished the warden and it has taken us a mammoth task and it's taken us a long while to get it done. But we finally got there, he's looking pretty sweet and I am done recording because this has just drove me insane today. So <laughs> I hope you appreciate that and I hope you really do like the build. And yeah, be sure to uh, make sure you subscribe if you already haven't. And make sure that you hit the like button because it really does help. Shows your appreciation of how long it's actually taken to build this guy. But anyway, I'll leave you to it and I'll speak to you on the next one. Bye.